softener. The sticky fabric softeners, um, you work even from dryer sheets, actually clog the pores of the fabric and they impact the wicking ability. Okay. So, um, but they're actually even bleachable. Folks before have been like, okay, so obviously if I sweat and there's an oil stain on the bed, I can't bleach these, right? But you absolutely can. You have to use oxygen-based bleach, but um, that's why they're they're perfect for in-home. Pets can get in there, dig around, whatever. There's no snagging, no wrinkling. Every morning when you uh, flip over your pillow, there will be no wrinkles actually on the fabric. So that's why all our sleepers love it so much. So I designed um, this product in 2008, and in 2011 uh, we came in our our e-commerce uh, site became live, WickedSheets.com. So I actually designed the product uh, for myself. I was my first customer. Uh, I played collegiate soccer and my career ended with an ACL tear. So I know about it, right? Uh, but it led me to this product. Yeah, thank you. So um, what happened was when I was exercising all the time, I had this high intensity training regimen through college, I thought night sweats were a normal byproduct, right? Just high metabolism. I was, I was just a sweaty person. Well, after I had my surgery and was inactive, my night sweats didn't go away. So like most women, I went to the doctor and I said, there's gotta be something wrong with me. And they're like, well, you don't have cancer. You surely shouldn't be going through menopause right now. You're 24, I started this. Um, no diabetes, what could be going on? So I, they diagnosed me with a condition called hyperhidrosis, which actually 3% of the global population has, or 120 million people in the United States. And um, that just means I produce more sweat than the average Joe, and especially at night. So I was joking around with my family about this um, in 2008, and my cousin, who was pregnant at the time, said, gosh, maybe, maybe it runs our family. I have night sweats too. So same moment, her husband walks past us wearing a Nike Dry Fit golf shirt, and I jokingly suggested, we're gonna cut off all your golf shirts and sew them into bed sheets, and we'll finally be able to sleep better at night. So my dad looks at me, who's in sales and marketing, he goes, it's not a bad idea. Why don't you try it? I abandoned my uh, childhood psychology career that I was working with kids with autism and decided to start a bed sheets company. <laughs> my parents were so proud. After 10 years of schooling, I decided to be that's, a business that's person. How <laughs> exactly. 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 But um, since then, I, it started in my one bedroom apartment in, in St. Matthews in Louisville, Kentucky. Moved out all the furniture, rolled out the rolls of fabric, was hand cutting it, and taking it to a seamstress that I found on Craigslist, literally. That was an interesting, yeah, oh yeah, she was a lingerie sewer. I put specialty fabric seamstress, and I got a woman that sewed lingerie. Yes, that's good. Yeah. That's real good. Awesome. yeah, exactly. And then I got someone that stamped leather leather for the local biker gang, and I was like, I don't think I'm actually hitting the mark here. <laughs> <laughs> Something is telling me. Yes, yeah. so I moved all operations to northern, uh, to northern Kentucky, uh, it's the Cincinnati area, and it's all handcrafted up in Cincinnati, Ohio now. We have a fulfillment center in Louisville, and we're shipping packages out every day from wickedsheets.com. And then we were picked up by Brookstone um, about three years ago and on amazon.com. So we've been solely e-commerce or a dropship vendor, and I think it's time to go in front of the camera and talk to my customers. That's why I'm here today. So, talk to me about the fabrication. Proprietary, you found it, it's just a great fabric that you're manufacturing it into sheets. I mean, obviously cotton not proprietary, whatever, right. so. Right, so what we started with was um, an iteration that was being discontinued from Under Armour and Nike. Okay. What I took then were the components of the fabric that I liked and brought it up to a um, textile engineer in Taiwan, and now they make that solely for us. Okay, great. So there's some copper and antimony in there that level the pH balance in the sheet, so there's no odor. And then there's a little bit of nylon, which actually is why there's that cooling touch to it. So we actually have a moisture wicking line, which is what I first started with, that's 100% poly, silkoid poly, and this is the combination, and it's got that two to three degrees cool exposure to the touch line. 4% copper? Yeah. Um, it is 100 percent copper. Um, it is a safe component around 8%. Okay. Usually, usually single digits. Right. And, um, and it doesn't have silver, which a lot of folks are going after that silver component, but that's something that washes out, and hospitals are trying to use it. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. So, patented anything proprietary, anything specifically proprietary to you? Um, the, we have a lot of trademarks. Okay. Um, the thing that we're actually going after, which hasn't been released yet um, for a patent, is some of my customers have a issue with dry, scratchy feet in the evening, and so we've actually added a, a snag-free zone 
to the fabric so where when they slide in at night when their feet can go over um, the, the zone basically and so we've actually applied for a, a provisional patent for that so we have some proprietary goodness okay. They cannot make that for any other sheet company. Okay. No. Yes. Okay. I know, right? International law, hopefully. We're actually looking to uh, start working with a company in North Carolina where we actually control the thread that comes in, the knitting process, and then they can actually give it to us on wider rolls, and that would be very proprietary to us. Okay. What sizes do your sheets come in? Everything. Everything. The beauty of making it in America. If you called me and said I have a 22 inch mattress, in two weeks I could have you a set with. Um, yeah. Your set, does it comes with what? A sh just a sheet? Does a sheet and a pillowcase? They sold separately? Did a sheet, flat sheet, and two pillowcases. But we have this a la carte option on our website where you can make your own bed and you can order. Some of the folks that we uh, cater to actually have incontinence issues. If we are working with someone that's um, going through cancer treatment or in the, the later age stage of life, and they will order two fitted sheets, a flat sheet, and pillowcases to go with it just in the event that they have an accident. So good news, <laughs> wicked little sleepers, okay. the baby and mom line for sweaty little sleepers and moms, hot moms. There's going to be some fun marketing with that. I was going to say, you had a really good pun on the hot mom. Yes, yeah. I know, yeah. right? The hot moms. So wicked little sleepers is going to be debuted at the LA Baby Show in right. November. Awesome. That is That's great. Fantastic. I'm pretty excited about it. We're talking about retail. Yeah. Retail. So average price point for queen is $159.95. Okay. Really comparable in the That's spectrum the of set? That's the whole set. The highest we go up is the Split King, and that's two hundred four ninety five. Now that's probably not doing any kind of mass bulk production, either. Right, but we have what we're doing right now with these OBGYN um, and menopause and hormone specialists are what we're calling physicians buying packs. So we have a really good wholesale buying pack available for them. All of our cost has our shipping built in, our packaging, and things like that. Oh, you have shipping built in? Mm hmm So we've got some wiggle room. Yeah. And we're, we're located in Louisville, which is the UPS hub of the world, so I have the best rates. Yeah. Um, so do you have any type of substantiation behind that, whether it's a doctor that's endorsing this, whether it's some sort of testing that you have done that validates the whole moisture leaking absorbs you end up like six times more moisture, any type of documentation? Yes, all kinds. So our biggest spokesperson is the 2016 Menopause Practitioner of the Year, Dr. Diane Pace. She's winning at the North American Menopause Society this year, which we will be attending, and she puts wicked sheets on her slides to all of uh, the folks. She's actually talking about sex after menopause in this <laughs> conference, so I'm kind of giggly, like, I'm going to go I'm home. I'm going to be after dark. Yeah. Yes, I can see <laughs> I envision, like, the lights get dim, and then we're all laying on the bed, and yeah. it's like, wow, let's go. 11 p.m. to 2 a.m. Prime time. Exactly. That's actually our biggest traffic hour on online, 11 to 2 a.m. Because people are waking up from night sweats saying, what What can I do? What's the solution? And you know what they're doing? They're going to HSM. They're trying to find a solution. They don't find it right now because you're not on it. I know. Right. That's exactly right. All right. Um, the other cool thing is we just actually got our testing back from the, um, the Asthma and Allergy Friendly Federation of America. You know, the AAFA, yep, the yep, lungs, yep, whatever. Yep. So we passed the test in right, Ireland. Right. We just have to buy the, the, to buy the license. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Which, for us, it's going to be great when we go out to the LA Baby Show because I think that's a good stamp of approval for moms. Yeah. So I think that's oh, going to be really important on the baby line. Totally. And then all of our testing has been documented. It's done in a lab in Alabama called Text Test. And so we had it actually compared to Cotton, our competitor, and ours. And that's where the. Who is your team. competitor? Um, they're called Sheiks. Who are they? Well, I'm not going to answer them because I'm one of the most competitive people on the planet. But, but um, they started this uh, the same year that I did, but they went directly over to China and started manufacturing and now have actually grown into not so focused on night sweats and hot flashes, but are trying to become a bedding company. I keep a very close eye on them. They actually have one investor in Louisville. Oh, wow. I know. Right. Well, I feel like you're so charismatic. Like, I want to buy anything. Like, I want to buy a table clock.
Too bad I only brought a carry on, or I'd be taking you back home. Yeah. Uh, well, some of these have to stay. <laughs> this, is, well, stay. this is like one of your small personal bags. Can I take Absolutely. What's in your left hand is. This is a set of pillowcases, and then this is our full set of uh, queen size sheets. Yourselves. Okay. That's a queen deep pocket. Right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, really quickly, what 